Hi guys, thank you for joining me. A recently discovered comet, which actually could be a minor planet, which was given the name C 2014 UN 271 Bernard and Ellie Bernstein, who discovered this comet by going through dark matter data and is currently somewhere by Neptune and already showing signs that it's developing um, gassing, a uh, corona tail, which could kick it off track. Um, it's projected to come by Saturn and is projected to pass by Earth um, in 2031. This comet is said to be between 60 and 200 miles across and is already degassing, showing signs of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. And of course, it's uh, it's an icy body. So as it gets closer to the sun, that water is going to steam off and be like little jet engines changing its trajectory. There is no reports right now that it has companions. They think it came from the Oort cloud, which is the borderlands of our solar system where it passed through the Oort cloud coming here. Maybe this why all of a sudden the UK is having a test for emergency an announcements, looking to build a math casualty unit. Maybe this wa is why we're having mass shortages of different foods and why lumber prices have gone sky high. Supposedly a shortage of lumber along with all the other goods, which is pushing inflation up and up and up. Supposedly, we have 10 years, supposedly, but why the rush for the um, building, for the uh, temporary morgue for the bodies there in the UK? They want the bid, or not the bid, they want to find someone by the uh, 12th of the coming month. The scientists believe that this is going to be some great research they're going to get from this um, possibly minor planet. Yeah, the size of a mountain. Sound familiar? that will um, open the gates to hell, supposedly, if it impacts the Earth. Are the elite already scrambling to get off planet? Is this why we're having shortages of different food products and they're going sky high what you can find? The impact crater there in the plateau of Colorado was from an asteroid impact, not a comet. It was an asteroid impact, uh, maybe 50 to 30 meters wide. And the one that's coming is supposedly maybe as large as 200 miles. That one was too small to co cause a global impact, but it did have regional impact with a mega blast. They figured that blast was between 20 and 40 megaton megatons. While the Chicxulub asteroid that they feared struck the Earth uh, was probably 6.2 miles across. The shock wave probably created what we have now um, is part of the New Madrid fault zone. It f threw um, hot magma from the Earth all the way up to Canada, created great fires across the entire uh, North and South America. Here's another image of the location of that impact crater. It was only 12.2 miles across. Do you trust the government to tell you if it's got companions that are going to come in to our Earth's atmosphere with it? Or even how soon it's really going to come? If this thing strikes one of the oceans, well, be besides being an Ellie event, yeah, can you imagine the tsunamis it would create? When they discovered this comet, they sent a notice out to the minor uh, planet electro electronic circulars. Yeah, they think it might be as big as a small planet. Supposedly, it's going to come within 10 times the distance of the Earth to the Sun, but we know that the gravitational pull of different planets, and besides the uh, jetting that it's due, can change its trajectory. And it already has a recognizable coma or tail. Yeah, the scientists are looking forward to the fireworks, it says, as it breaks apart. Yep, it's traveled a long ways and a long time to get here. According to Google search, it's supposed to arrive here on January 23rd, 2031.
the most recent information on Wikipedia has it about 60 miles wide and its tail is about 15 degrees wide. And I guess it's supposed to reach just outside of Saturn's orbit January of 2031. And it was burning brighter than what was expected. According to Gizmodo, uh, this comet is the largest comet ever documented between 62 and 230 miles long. It's not reflective like other comets, so I guess. You know, a lot of people wonder why it was only announced now. Well, evidently it took a lot of digging through all the different um, images before it was discovered. The object was initially spotted at a distance of 29 AU from the sun and had traveled 7 AU during the past 7 years. So I wanted to do my own calculations because I can't find out how fast this thing is traveling. But per day is traveling 258,210.575 miles a day. So if I do my calculations right, which they probably are not, this thing's moving at about 11,000 miles an hour. So then I did a Google search about what's the average speed of a comet. And it says when a comet is far from the sun, it travels about 2,000 miles an hour. As it gets closer to the sun, its speed increases. It may travel over 100,000 miles per hour. As a comet approaches the sun, its icy body begins to melt, releasing dust and gas. So what are your thoughts? Do you think the government is honest about how close it's approaching? Evidently, it's too late now to send any exploration uh, rockets or satellites or whatever out there. It's too late to do that. So I was thinking, well, it must be traveling pretty fast. What are your thoughts? Do you think they're being honest about this asteroid that's supposed to come in 10 years? Do we really have 10 years to prepare just in case it changes its trajectory? Do you think this is any reason why the UK all of a sudden is going to put up an emergency broadcast system, why they're looking for temporary storage for mass casualties? Does this have anything to do with the climbing prices? Yeah, remember, we're going to be paying a day's wages for a loaf of bread. What are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.